touch back. So you have had the overview, but what I wanted to do in this session was to dive a bit deeper and see how these products actually work. <clears throat> one, of, one of my favorite things about WebOS is the way it fits into your life. So you can get all your work done, but also you can sit back and have some fun. So let's imagine a typical day in the life of our user. Let's imagine I'm that user and I'm coming home after a long day at work. I have my HP Pre-3 with me, which never leaves my side. And before I settle down at home, I need to do one last thing. I need to send one last SMS. We're doing a product demonstration in Los Angeles next week. And I need to make sure that my flight to LA is confirmed. So let's do that. So stepping under the camera here so you can see it. There you go, that's the Pre-3. As you can see, it's extremely slim and elegant. Feels really nice in the hands. It's a nice big touch screen, 3.6 inch, and I can slide it open to reveal the keyboard. And using just type, I can quickly look up the phone number of our travel coordinator, Alex. I touch here, and this launches me into a messaging chat thread with Alex. I can then type my message, Say, please confirm my flight. As you can see, this keyboard is really comfortable to type on. I hit enter, the message is sent, and now that the message is sent, it's time for me to relax at home. Now, when I get home, what I like to do is to drop my phone at my desk, and I leave it charging on the touchstone, which is the best way for me to charge my phone and I don't have to deal with any wires. It uses inductive te technology, and using a couple of magnets, it charges the phone. Also, as soon as I put it on the touchstone, it switches into what we call exhibition mode. So while it is charging, it's also acting like a digital photo frame, so I can see my pictures. Or, as you'll see, it will also show my upcoming appointments, like this dinner with Mike. It's very convenient. I can look at pictures, I can see my appointments, or I can see the time, and even third parties can plug in, and you can see stock tickers, weather, etc. It's very useful. Now, whenever I'm on the go, the Pre-3 goes with me. But once I get home, my preferred way to connect to the world is the brand new HP touchpad. I use it everywhere. I use it on my desk, I can use it on my couch, I can use it on my kitchen counter. So let's imagine I put the Pre-3 away in the other room on my desk, and now I'm on my couch or on my kitchen table, and I have a touchpad in my hands, as you can see here. As we talked about this morning, the hardware design is gorgeous. It has a nice, beautiful screen. By the way, you, I don't know if you guys heard it, but I just got a text back, probably from Alex, about my tickets. Now, I don't really want to go to the other room and pick up my phone and check the message, because I'm comfortable in my chair. And the good news is that I don't have to because I can see the same message right here on the touchpad. The touchpad and the Pre-3 talk to each other. So I can do all my texting right from here. I'll show you that I can see the same text message at the bottom on the Pre-3 as I can see on the touchpad. I can also take phone calls from the touchpad, so I can, um, I can do all my phone calling without having to go to the other room. And we use Bluetooth technology for this. However, using touchstone technology, the Bluetooth setup, which is always very complicated, becomes extremely simple using our touchstone technology. These are just a couple of examples of how WebOS seamlessly integrates my devices. And I'll show you a few more examples. But before that, let's look at the core of what makes WebOS so special, the core user interface. It works just the way you do. It's very natural. Some of you may have seen, some of may, uh, you may have used, and you know how easy it is to use WebOS on a phone. And that ease of use scales beautifully when you put it on the large screen of the touchpad. So I press the center button. This view is my workspace. And just like my desk at office or at home, it lets me visualize very quickly what I was previously working on. And I can pick up where I left off. Here are a few applications I was using. My email, messaging, photos, and so on. We call each of these a card. And it's very easy to navigate the UI with cards. So if I want to bring up an application, I just touch. This is our photos application. It looks beautiful on this large screen. 
I can press the center button to go back to the card view. If I want to open a new application, I can either use the quick launch bar at the bottom, or I can touch here to bring up the launcher. And this shows me my favorite applications, the ones that I use all the time. So let's launch the calendar. And our calendar application synchronizes simultaneously with multiple sources, with Exchange, Google, Facebook, and you can add more. And the great thing about it is it shows me all those appointments all clubbed together in a single view using our Synergy feature, which Stephen talked about in the morning, which allows me to synchronize with multiple sources, but it allows me to view them all together in a single view layered together. It's very convenient. I can press the center button and go back to the card view. Now, sometimes cards make a lot more sense when you group them together rather than keeping them standalone. As an example, this is my to-do list for my wife's birthday. Her birthday is tomorrow, I'm here tomorrow, so when I go back home, I'm in trouble. So I have to figure out how to get out of trouble. And I thought, what better way than buying a diamond? So I was doing some research here on this web page. What I can do is I can grab this web page and I can stack it with my shopping list so they can stay together. We call this card stacks. So your related activities can stay together. And when I have time and maybe more money, I can come back and deal with this activity. And I can continue on. Once I'm done using an application, I can just swipe it off the screen and close it. This is true multitasking, and it shines even more on the large screen of the touchpad. And it takes tablet UI to a whole new level, a level that is unmatched in the industry today. Let's look at another application where we spend a lot of our time, email. I'm back home, I want to catch up on my personal email. This is an email that I was reading in the morning. As you can see, the message body flows really well. I can even see an image right in line here. But I want to see what new emails have come in since the morning. So I can just drag this handle to the right, and I can see the rest of my Gmail inbox. And I can easily jump to a different message, like this travel newsletter I subscribe to, and it shows me all the content, and it's in full HTML, shows me all the images as well as the text. Looks great. But unfortunately, even after I get home, I can't resist looking at my work mail. So I want to jump to my work folder now. No problem. I can drag this handle to the right once again, and it shows me all my accounts in one place. So in the same view, you have your accounts, you have your current inbox, and you have your current message. And once again, I can either drag or just tap this handle, and I can see more of the message, or I can drag this all the way to the right, and I can see all the three views at once. Email has never been this easy. And using Synergy again, I can bring multiple accounts at the, in the same place. So I have Exchange, I have Google, and I have Yahoo. And I can obviously add more if I want to. If I want to see all my incoming messages in the same place, I can go to the All Inboxes folder at the very top. But for now, let's, uh, let's switch to Exchange. This is my Exchange inbox. You can scroll. You can see I get a lot of emails, just like all of you. It's very hard to manage. So what I like to do is to delete. And I like to delete several at once. So for that, we added multi-select. Just a touch here and select the emails that I don't uh, really need anymore. Hit delete. There you go. So easy to declutter your mailbox. And then I can scroll all the way to the top and see what new emails are waiting for a response from me. There's one from David, says urgent. And he wants me to review the marketing document for Touchstone and provide him some feedback. He sent me a Word document. Just select the document that opens the Word document in a separate card using an application called Quick Office. And Quick Office supports Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, as well as Adobe PDF. And you can see that it does a great job of rendering the document. It also synchronizes with the cloud using several partner services such as Box.net and Google Docs, so you can upload documents to the cloud as well as download them using this application. And we're going to include Quick Office when we launch the touchpad, including editing for Word and Excel as well. Now, in order to go back to the email, I don't have to close this document. I can just press the center button, go back to card view, and easily switch back to email. And since David is asking me for a response, I can hit reply, and that launches a reply card. There you see your virtual keyboard. We'll look at it more closely in just a minute. 
Go back to the card view, and now I see three cards. 